Hi guys, welcome to the channel of love. Okay, so we're coming towards the end of July now. So let's have a look at a um, weekly energy. Uh, we'll do a weekly energy check-in. Let's see what's maybe on the cards for this coming week. Let's pop some shades on. The sun is out. The rain seems to have gone. Let's use the Rider away. So I've got a few decks that I've that I've bought out here. Okay, let's um let's see what the energy is like. got a king of swords here a masculine energy okay let's have a look what's he thinking about he looks quite stern or is he looking dazed I'm not sure what do you think I'm keeping my glasses on. I feel like he's staring me out. <laughs> Stop it. It's quite intimidating. Someone's feeling really defensive here. Um, it's definitely a masculine's energy. So his defences are up. Um, yeah, he's not letting anyone close. The Knight of Pentacles. Now that this night's slow, he needs time to think, to prepare, to plan. Um, so I feel here we have, I'm just going to stop at them three cards. I think I might be pulling three this side and then three this side. So we've definitely got a masculine here who is... Um, looking rather stern okay um he is protecting himself okay so it's like his guards have gone up his defenses so i want to say maybe he's been triggered and this is about having space and time um that really is an energy of give me space um okay so I'm going to look at the bottom. There's the fool here. He's wanting to take a leap of faith. So it's like, I want to take a leap of faith, but first you need to give me space. What's underneath? Because that slid off. Two of pentacles. There's a masculine here who's feeling very... I'm not going to say he's feeling very unbalanced. He's trying to remain balanced. Okay, So he's juggling a few things at the moment. He's looking very stern. Um, he's like not wanting any interference. His walls are up. His guards up. Um, you're not getting through. Okay, he's going to take his time, as much time as he wants. He doesn't want any pressure. Um, he's struggling really here with juggling. Struggling with juggling. I love it, the poetry. Come on. Um, but he's wanting to take this. There you go. It's like he could run away at any time under any pressure and change his mind. So, um, okay, there's the story for this side. I think we'll be pulling one for the other side as well. Slurping my coffee. Okay, I've got the fairy tarots out. No, we're going to use the psychic tarot first and then... I'm hoping the fairies are going to give some guidance. So let's use the psychic tarot. I had them out yesterday. We didn't use them. So they're coming out today. Why do I want to sing Kylie Minogue? I should be so lucky. I should be so lucky. Lucky, lucky, lucky. I should be so lucky in love. Let's have a look at this um, stern king of swords who is very much in his head, um, trying to think logically about things. Um, he's wanting space most definitely and not really wanting to be disturbed. Like the death stare. Two 
destiny. I was just about to say, what's that got to do with the King of Swords? Is he planning his destiny? Is he creating his destiny? I'm not sure because I feel like he's just surrounded by, um, if he's put his guards up, the destiny, the wheel's about to turn, I think he's had a realisation about his destiny and it's put him into kind of panic mode. But with a feminine here, um, I feel it's very much as if he can't es escape this, um, it's kind of like the divine masculine and the divine feminine, okay, we're not getting away from it are we, we just go with the flow. Um, it's like he's seen her everywhere. Look at the stare he's got. And his guard's gone up. So I feel like the universe has kind of shown him his destiny. Or keeps showing him his destiny. No matter where. Um, but there's kind of cartoons here as well. Uh, I just saw the truth card. I can show you because it's still on the bottom. Um, the truth card's there, which is judgment. So he's got the um, doors just slammed in my house. I'm not sure why. Uh, for one, we don't do door slamming in my house. Um, so somehow something's taken that door with the wind. I'm not sure. Um, feeling defensive, discontented, and bored discontent and boredom his guards are up he's had a realization that he's really unhappy and it's like he's cutting himself off from his own destiny not happy at all not a happy chappy his guards have gone up um so there's depression now which will be you know while he's while while he's wanting i was going to say why he is wanting to <clears throat> not having anyone in his space. It's like the look says it says it all. It's not happy. So we've got the Knight of Pentacles. Time. He really is slow that night. Um It's like this masculine doesn't like it if, if things are not, in a way, his way. Um, he doesn't like the pressure. One bit. Disruption. The tower. It was upside down. Well, okay, okay. The two of them. Um, this just blew off. This juggling. I feel like this is like... This is the tower, it's a major tower moment. He is feeling upside down and he's uh, looks like he's ready to kind of burst. That looks a bit like the hangman, doesn't it? Hanging around and it's it's now gonna explode, but I feel this masculine's gone within and it's just um he's not happy. And what's he not happy of? Because that blew off. And it showed us returning to someone from the past and remembering what love is. And a love that's matured. Okay. So, let's put them back. Disruption. So, I feel that that is... The tower tells us, you know, it's time to address, okay, a, cer a certain situation. I want to say, with it being in reverse here, I don't know if they have reverse meanings. In here. No, I don't think they do. We can read the tower though. Let's read. What number is it? 16. A sudden, un unusually f unforeseen disruption or major change is happening or is about to take place. Even if it appears to be a negative experience, it can lead to enlightenment or a total shift in your lifestyle. In traditional tarot meanings, this card represents the falling tower. This eventually crumbles due, due to its weak foundation. Whichever part of you, whichever part of your life 
we focus on. This is an opportunity to rebuild with a solid positive structure to make you or the situation even stronger. There are times when the most difficult situations arise in your life. If you choose to, they can act as a catalyst to heal other areas. They're beneficial because they're truly your greatest teachers. Learn from past mistakes, accept them and integrate them into your life as stepping stones. To be forewarned is to be forearmed. This dis disruption card is a reminder that negative thinking, limiting beliefs, ignoring problematic situations and risky or careless lifestyles must be addressed so that positive changes can take place. Life has a habit of moving you forward whether you're ready or not. Transformation of body, mind and soul can happen if you view this dramatic time or change as an opportunity for growth. In the future, you may look back and be thankful for this opportunity. Okay. So like I said, there's... Um, okay, wind, calm down. Um, major disruption about um, how the time, how long it's taken, really. And then we have the leap of faith. I don't feel this masculine is very impressed with this pressure that the universe is putting upon him. Or maybe his unconscious is putting upon him. That's all it is. Um, so, time to take a leap of faith. And there's some firm foundations here. So it's about being steady, okay, grounded. Um, confident, look, it said about this is an opportunity for you to, to learn from your past mistakes and, uh, and to use it as a, as a catalyst. Okay, what's the bottom? Mm. Material harvest. Now, this is normally the Divine Feminine's card, okay, the Nine of Pentacles, but we have a masculine here with his material harvest. May not be a lot there. Let's have a look at what he's got. A flask. <laughs> I don't know if that's a grapefruit, an apple, some coins, and some kind of little glass container here. Um, so this could be the disruption, and it's time now to build again, but interesting enough, it, like I said, it's very much the feminine's essence, so I want to, want to say I feel that the divine, femi uh, the divine masculine is following suit of the divine feminine with this surrender to... Um, to what you have to the now and uh, it's like you bring forth your offering and then it's just that leap of faith really on, on how the universe is going to respond Let's pull some fairy tarot. So let's see if we can get any guidance. The High Priestess. Well, that's the Divine Feminine's en energy. That's her knowledge as well. It's trusting your intuition and careful reflection before taking action. Insights that come through meditation. Let's read it. I said you were taking on the Divine Feminine's energy and that um, <clears throat> following suit. So there could be some real good guidance in here. It's number two, okay, the High Priestess. Wrong book. <laughs> The High Priestess comes to assure you that your spiritual gifts are real and your intuitive insights are accurate. So we're going to go back to what you may be the Divine Masculine seeing, what you're seeing here. She wants you to know that, that nothing in spirituality is secret anymore. Therefore, she presents to you all the wisdom she's accumulated in the hopes that you'll use it to gain great insights about yourself. The most important revelations come from within. Try spending time in meditation or going on a long 
reflective walks in nature. Ask yourself, what is it that I truly want? Am I following my own path or just trying to make others happy? Happiness comes from the knowledge that the choices you are making are for your highest, greatest good. Your body is a powerful, intuitive tool that can lead you in the right direction. Pay attention to your emotional responses to various options offered to you and treat them as a compass that will guide you along the way. This card indicates that your psychic abilities are very strong right now. You can trust what your instincts are telling you about situations and people. Our High Priestess stands before the ruins of the Glastonbury Abbey, which was the site of the religious and political disagreements. With her open book, the High Priestess is symbolic of acceptance of the many spiritual paths to God's love. So the additional meanings of this card. Important nighttime dreams, spiritual knowledge or enlightenment, making plans before taking action, gathering information in order to come to a later decision and keeping your strategies to yourself for now. You've got a lot of information coming through. It was, um, I have a dream journal that I've just um, started to kind of take seriously. Okay, and so I've been, um, because you wake up, Sometimes it can take you maybe five, ten minutes and you realise, you know, you can still remember maybe what you, you were dreaming about. And, um, and really, when I wake up, I just uh, note it down quickly, okay? So you kind of know the story and then I go back and then translate that into um, a story because some other things come and you remember um, just after you've woken. But if you can kind of jot down straight away, maybe the time, um, the date and maybe start tracking your dreams as important information is coming through. Um, I'm also tracking energies of the day, um, which is quite interesting to do. So to track the energies and um, just to see what the pattern is with people that I'm speaking to, how I'm feeling myself, things that are going through my mind, and then obviously the people that I talk to, you kind of... And I just think it's interesting if, well, for me personally, for the collective, I'll track um, the energies. I think it's important that we, we really take this quite seriously now, um, as in the information and the insights. And the real truth is like seeing through the illusion. Okay. The High Priestess, very interesting. I'm going to, um, so I feel that's a Divine Masculine reading. I am going to do a Divine Feminine one save that side over there but I want to finish off this Divine Masculine's one got some Archangel Guidance Spiritual Understanding I am bringing you esoteric information and symbols and helping you understand spiritual truths you really do need to pay attention now I don't think that you can even this day's here, this, um, like I said, this Divine Masculine doesn't feel too happy about all the enlightenment that's kind of hitting him. So, spiritual understanding. Your spiritual understanding is rising to another level as you open up to new ways of looking at life. Keep an open mind and let go of limited thinking and illusions. Pay attention to signs, information that comes to you three times or more. Notice geometric shapes and symbols in your physical and psychic vision. Know that your increased awareness may shift your relationships and career goals. I'll guide you through these changes so your life mirrors your inner experiences. Welcome with Archangel Raziel. As the wizard and the alchemist of the Archangel realm, Raziel helps us understand ideas that defy normal logic. He expands and challenges everyday thinking in ways that ultimately have healing effects. If you hunger for deep spiritual understanding, ask Raziel to enter your dreams. <clears throat> 
your soul travel with him to classrooms where, where he'll help you uncover truths and secrets. Upon awakening, you may not fully remember or understand Raziel's teachings, yet this knowledge is permanently embedded in your subconscious where it guides you throughout each day. Wow. Okay. It's a good reading, Masculines. Um, okay, where's the box? <clears throat> I've got some um, Abraham Hicks, uh, Esther and Jerry Hicks, the teachings of Abraham, well-being cards. I'm drawn to pull these out. Okay, let's put a message from here. The secret to creating anything desired. Get happy. Get your happy on, divine masculines. As you practice happy thoughts, you practice your connection with source and well-being. From your place of being happy, you have access to all that you desire. Just like brushing your teeth in the morning. Okay, Remember to get your happy on. Do some mirror work. Tell yourself how much you love you. What a great person you are. Put up some positive affirmations. Listen to some morning affirmations. Try and wake up on a positive note. But that means you're going to go to bed on a positive note, okay? So make sure you are dreaming away, asking for uh, information to be given to you throughout your dreams and um, dream state. And um, being optimistic, hopeful, um, hungry for knowledge. This is all kind of, um, it's a very kind of um, inquisitive it's not a depressing. Let's hope not to change the, the kind of um, the death stare. <laughs> it's like the look says it all. So, uh, and a lot of people can pick up on your um, facial expressions, and you may not even realise you're looking like it um, unless you sit in front of a mirror all day. So, I'm going to get one more. Get you happy on. I have that poster outside my bathroom door. Get you happy on. Got two here. To feel better is the root of every desire. For us to feel better, for us to feel better is the only reason any one of us wants anything. If you had only one goal, and that was to feel good, you would live successfully and happily, and in a way of fulfilling your life's purpose ever after. Happily ever after. Okay, make it part of your routine. I make many decisions and then I make them right. Your true work in this perfectly balanced universe is to weigh continually your new stimulation of thought against the existing beliefs within you, thereby deciding what you now want. It's a realisation. Um, things will change. They have to change because you've changed. Um... Right. Okay, I'm not going to go too much into that. Because I do want to do a reading for the Divine Feminine. Let's get you a Sacred Spirit card. <clears throat> Let me just put these there. That's cool, I can clear up that side. Am I clearing up that side? We'll decide in a minute. Who's saying it? I'm not sure who's saying it. Oh, I do know who's saying it as well, but um, it's going, Oh, lucky you. <laughs> if it's really true, oh, lucky you. Do I want to? Do we give you two divine masculines? Let's do it. How did that two of pentacles land all the way over there? Because for some reason it's blown. 
we've got memories of love and someone returning now. Okay, these are going to blow away. Let me just pop these back in. Okay. Wow. I've not had this card yet, and it's Ascended Masters. Create open communication. Can you see that, guys? Is that the way the best place to hold it? The shadow of my thumbnail. Create open communication with others and listen objectively. Throughout time, human beings have looked to spiritual teachers, gurus and philosophers for guidance and wisdom in their everyday lives. Regardless of religious backgrounds or affiliation, people gravitate towards those who have achieved levels of ascension on the physical plane. Philosophers, ascended masters, spiritual gurus and leaders enable those seeking wisdom or higher states of well-being and consciousness to connect to something bigger than themselves in this dimensional experience. While there are many ascended masters across the realm of ascension, they are still on differing levels of ascension. These inner planes assist, assist those seeking wisdom connecting to specific energy such as the light rays. When working with these frequencies or energies, be sure to always invoke or request the aspects that exist within 100% pure light frequencies. Ascended Masters still exist with a dual polarity and still have specific purposes and functions relating to the earthly realm. Right now you are required to connect to higher wisdom previously shared with a collective purpose. Daily rituals and routine are essential to establish establish I will get my words out establish stability through decision making processes. Open your mind and vision to signs and symbols from the ascended master realm. Many masters are associated with animals and symbols as a little white butterfly went past. Okay. Pay attention to art and imagery that you may feel emotionally or strongly connected to now as you are being guided divinely. Be consciously aware that the masters are working behind the scenes in your life to achieve a greater outcome. Karmic planning and your unique energetic blueprint require certain learning experiences and events for you to grow and expand your soul and spirit into a new state of awareness. So the shadow aspect, refusing to be open to a new ex to new experiences or outcomes. Okay, um, the Archangel Assistance is Archangel Metatron, of course it is. I, was he? I imagine he would have been. Oh no, it was Raziel, wasn't it? Yeah, but Metatron deals with the um, symbols as well. So Archangel Metatron, channeling and higher wisdom. You have to remember that um, Metatron, along with Sandalfon, were actual humans um, and they ascended to Archangeldom, <laughs> the two actual um, humans that did. So they definitely can understand and help you connect, okay? Um, and the affirmation is, I am a clear channel of divine knowledge. I share this wisdom with compassion and confidence. Let's look at the next card. That was an awesome card, wasn't it? I, I just feel, I know it's pink, okay, but I feel the energy of a swan. So maybe, I don't know, feeling as if you're just growing into a beautiful, pure, white swan of light. I don't know, they're just very majestic, aren't they? Um, let's have a look. Turning into that beautiful swan. The next card is number 10, Cosmic Ancestors. Voice your concerns. You have a lot of concerns. <laughs> um, and it's time to channel them to above. So, 10. Learn from those who have walked before you and voice your concerns. Universal conscious coexistence extends beyond millions of years. Our very DNA has evolved over thousands of years and is continuing to do so. Our genetic 
lineage or origins are often brought into question. It is hard to refute the possibility of life on other planets far beyond our own star system and galaxy, given the science and astrological evidence we already understand historically about universal astronauts. You may feel like you are a starseed, disassociated from others as they cannot comprehend how precious life is, planetary evolution or conscious connect connection with all living creatures. You may, you may have fell into silent pain or be a passionate activist. You're heartbreaking over the material <clears throat> corruption of humanity and that no one is listening to the collective cry of the planet. The life of all inhabitants or, or the global impact, impact of ego-based leadership. That's just so our planet, isn't it, at the moment? <clears throat> Let me read that bit again. You may have fell into silent pain or be a passionate activist. Your heart breaking over the material corruption of humanity and that no one is listening to the collective cry of the planet, the life of all inhabitants or the global impact of ego-based leadership. In absolute truth, we are starseeds as our personal cosmic origins are mixed within our DNA and consciousness. The very existence of life on planets beyond our current understanding or awareness is evidentiary. I say Jesse, why did I say planets, Earth? It was like kind of, we're not even aware of what is actually out there. It's like time to open our eyes maybe, I'm not sure. So, after all, you are currently existing within the universe as we know it on a beautiful planet called Earth. This just keeps coming up saying my disc is full. Okay. Right now, you must learn from those who have walked before you. I said about Sandalphon and Metatron. So, right now, you must learn from those who have walked before you. Those who have already shone a light on injustices require you to evolve and awaken into a passionate contributor. Now is the time to stand up and be counted. And it just brings me to that Emily Sunday, Sunday, I don't know how you pronounce her name, um, read all about it. Song, I put that on the Facebook page if you have a look. It's like, come on, come on. Um, yeah. So life beyond our beautiful planet, beyond our earthly incarnations, is forever written among time and space and is available to us within the records of the Akashic Temple. You may feel connected to star energy or be aligned with a more cosmic understanding of the universe than with others. Call upon the energy of 100% pure light, galactic guides, masters or teachers to assist you in understanding your personal connection. It's mentioned twice, calling 100% pure light. Call upon the energy of 100% pure light, galactic, guides, masters or teachers to assist you in understanding your personal connection. I'm just going to go back to number two. When working with these frequencies or energies, be sure to always invoke or request the aspects that exist within 100% pure light frequencies. Ascended Masters still exist with a dual polarity and still have specific purposes and functions relating to the earthly realm. It's like help is on its way. I'm going to leave you with a Mother Mary card. I might put this up as a separate video to the Divine Feminines. Might be best to kind of keep it separate. It's most definitely nice to be able to give you some guidance today though, guys. Oh, Our Lady of Starting Over. See, so you wake up and we start on her. I feel like these glasses rise up my... I don't really need them on at the moment. I've already left all marks. As the sun comes out. It's a new day. Okay, Divine Masculines, let's um, have a look at this Our Lady of starting over.
soon it will be time to leave something behind you. I know that you may grieve the loss. You may grieve this loss even when you know deep within that it is for the best to let it go. Allow me to nourish you with the courage you need and the realisation that this change is happening so that you can flourish and thrive. Your growth serves the growth of others too. You shall not cause loss or harm to that which you are about you are releasing all moves in my grace surrender your fear and doubt and trust in my unconditional loving grace for all being all situations have their purpose but new purpose is calling you forward now even though it might be unfamiliar territory that you are feeling attracted towards don't try to hide from it or avoid it the mother is guiding you telling you that this is indeed the right way forward the timing may already be happening or will be happening soon. There is no need to force things, for you will know when it is time to move on. Yet this oracle tells you, if it doesn't feel like time yet, it soon will. What will this moving on look like? It could be literal, as in the end of a relationship or business agreement, or a change in where you live. It could be a letting go of an old identity or belief system. Or it may even be the releasing of a set of limitations that you placed on yourself because you thought that those limitations were appropriate for your age, your role in life or some other reason and now you are questioning that. Our Lady of Starting Over comes with guidance to forgive and live and let live. Guidance to feel all your emotions and to make peace as honestly as you can with whatever has transpired. Not to be good, but to be free. Remember that people act according to their consciousness and wounds, perhaps doing the best that they can in the circumstance, but still not being very skillful or aware. They may cause harm, but you can move past this, even if pain was inflicted upon you personally. In time, with the mother's help, you'll feel acceptance and peace through cultivating an awareness that they must have a reason for acting in that way. And their reason has nothing to do with you and everything to do with their own consciousness and wounding. How you respond to the pain of the past is what is relevant to your own growth now. Our Lady of Starting Over arises when you need help to put, put the past, especially a painful past, to rest. You are entering into a time when the loving mother's support will be helpful as you step onto a new path. Glasses could go on. Okay, where was I? As you step onto a new path. She says that you are entitled to be free from all that has been. Free to treat each and every moment as a completely fresh start. So, as to release game, uh, game. <laughs> it says guilt. <laughs> Maybe as to release any games. Guilt and shame, it doesn't say that, any games. Okay. You're free to treat each and every moment as a completely fresh start so as to release guilt and shame and to feel empowered to choose now based on what is in your heart. She says that her heart is larger than all your past sufferings or confusion. So trust in her to help love you through this transition and support you in starting over now. All is well, beloved. Do not worry or fear. You can trust the flow of your life and when you need to take a step, when the timing is right, deep within, with the mother's helpful assistance, you will know when to act and what to do. If you've been praying for a new start but are yet to feel that it is happening, this oracle comes with this spe special message for you. Your new beginning is on its way to you now. Stay in the faith of your heart and trust in the mother's divine timing for you. There are some final connections communications and resolutions that need to happen for the current life phase to be completed karmically. It won't be long now and soon you'll be ready and free to move on with a fresh start and a refreshed heart. Um, very interesting, so it's not going to be long now. The final kind of stage of this, you really, it's the crown chakra. Okay, so the third chakra you start to see you start to see signs, synchronizations, okay? 
um, you start to see more and then with the crown you're going to connect okay you're going to have that connection as above so below so healing process and affirmation see before you a woman gazing at you with love and kindness in her eyes with golden light flaming about her being she looks lit up from within as you gaze at her I said about the gaze didn't I as you gaze at her you see that she gestures to a sacred golden red heart at her heart centre. Within that sacred heart is a flaming red fire burning bright. You can see that there. I'll hold it up so you can see. She invites you now to surrender into the fire of her heart. Anything that you want or need to let go of in order to start over. You may consciously know what this is and see yourself tossing it into the fire of her burning sacred heart. You may not consciously consciously know what it is that you need to release in which case you can simply imagine dark grey smoke pouring from your body and mind and soul into her heart fire and being burned away stay with this process for several breaths or however long feels good for you don't worry if you cannot visually sorry don't worry if you cannot visualize clearly even just intending that this happens is enough when you are ready, complete your practice with the following affirmation. Our Lady of starting over, Mother Mary, who loves me unconditionally, assist me in letting go. Assist me in starting afresh within myself and in my physical life now, that I may best resonate with your path of love through your divine grace and my own free will. This is so. Okay, divine masculine, so I'm just going to do a quick recap okay on your weekly reading and then i'm going to get off and um do the divine feminine deceptive one which by all means watch um as you're kind of following suit okay and we're on it's kind of we we're all on this journey together <laughs> we can't kind of get away from it um so <clears throat> so you have definitely the connection here it's at about 100 percent pure light and told to keep you happy on I can make many decisions and then I can make them right. Okay, spiritual understanding. So you're bringing in signs, um, bringing you esoteric information and symbols and helping you understand the spiritual truth. Um, the root of it all is you want to feel better. Okay. Secret of creating anything that gets happy. You've got the high priestess energy here. Trust in your intuition, careful reflection before taking action, and insights that come through meditation. Okay. And it does look like this could be, you know, a, destru a, dis a destruction, but a disruption to your life. Okay, so maybe this week, um, you look like you're being very guarded, um, but there's going to be a lot coming in. So do protect your energy space and uh, connect with what's being delivered to you. So I want to say what you're seeing. And remember before you go to bed, okay, is to, um, to call upon your ascended masters to show you those truths about starting over. Okay, guys, have yourself a fantastic week and I'll catch up with you when I'm next on to jump on and catch up with you guys. Okay, take care. Much love. Bye for now.